Let's talk about how to find distinct rows in your data using Azure Data Factory's mapping data flows. So I'm going to walk you through end-to-end -end how to build this. It's really pretty simple. There's only a few steps to do it. But I do want you to be able to also um, use this pattern in, with your own data. So in the video description, I will put links to a blog post where I'll step through it in, uh, in a blog post. And then I'll also put a link to a template for the pipeline that executes this data flow. That way you can load this directly into your own factory and use your own data with it. So for this demo, I'm going to use the movies data that I always use. Let's take a look at what the projection looks like uh, with this source. So um, you, you start with your source. And um, everything is a string because uh, all text limited files come into ADF data flows as strings. I changed the movie to integer because that's going to be my ID. So what you have to do to be able to find distinct rows is pick your column or uh, combination of columns, your composite key or your individual key, that's going to indicate to you that these rows are duplicates. Now, if I look at the data preview, you'll see that this data already has set up some duplicates for us. So we have some duplicate titles and uh, movie ID. So we're going to start with a simple use case where we just want to um, find the unique uh, movies based on ID. Okay. So the next thing you do after you um, point to your source is you use an aggregate function. The aggregate transformation uh, has in it the ability to group by. And so that's the key to taking out the duplicates. Now what you have to do then is you need to uh, determine uh, what which of the duplicates you want to keep. So because we're looking for distincts, you're going to keep one of those duplicates. So let's choose the group by. The group by I said this is where you will do your a single key or your composite key. You can add other columns on here if you like. So you could um, make the you could force the distinctness to be based on the movie ID and the title. But in this case, we're just going to do movie. All right. So uh, this is going to group by movie. And this is only going to give us one of those movies. Let's go back to that data preview from the previous step, the previous transformation, and we see that. Um, we have these duplicates all for that same movie ID. So you have to decide which do you want to keep. Do you want to keep the first or the last? So for my use case, I'll keep the first. So under the aggregate functions, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a pattern. Now the reason I'm going to use a pattern is because the aggregate function by its nature takes out all the other columns, all the other metadata propagation stops right here with the aggregate function. The output from the function is only going to be the columns that you use. In fact, if I look at my inspect right now to look at my columns, and I look at my input schema, I see all the columns are coming in. But on my output schema, you're only going to see the uh, movie. And that's because I'm using this as part of my group by. Everything else gets lost. So I need to include all of those in my aggregate so they pass through. So what I'll do in the aggregate settings is I'm going to use a pattern that makes it a lot easier so I don't have to pick each column one by one. So I'm using the movie ID, the movie, as part of the group by. So I don't want to include that. So I'm going to say give me every other column whose name is everything except movie. So now I will get all the other columns. And what Data Factory will do is it will, it will uh, do that um, pattern match for me. And it will create metadata for all the other columns. So to keep the same column name to overwrite, instead of creating new columns, you just use dollar 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 as representative of every match. And then in the expression is where you pick, you either do first or last. I'm going to do first. Dollar dollar is the value coming in for each match. Now if I go over to my inspect on my outputs, I will now see all the columns. So now what we can do is, uh, let's go ahead and do a um, data preview on this. And we should see those duplicates uh, go away. Now I have, uh, I think, 9,125 or 28 or somewhere around 9,100 9, to 9,200 uh, rows in this data set. So what data preview in Data Factory Data Flow does is it samples based upon debug settings your row limit. So I'm going to bump this up to 10,000 so I get all the rows in there. So far my results look fine, but what I want to do is I want to get all the rows in so I can do a row count. So the way you do row counts in um, Data Flow is you again do an aggregate. 
So let me actually name these aggregates. They have better names than aggregate one and aggregate two. Let's call this first aggregate is the actual distinct operation. So we're going to call this one distinct rows. And then the second one we'll call row count. Very common thing you'll do within your data flows is to count number of rows. And so what I'll do here is um, I'm not going to do any group by because I want all the rows. So no group by, I want everything. And I just want a count of everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare the distinct rows against the uh, full data set. So let me give it a new name. So I'll call my row count as, uh, well, I'll call it row count. I'll call it row counts aggregated. And the function is going to be counts. So I'm going to count one for every row that comes in. And this is everything. There's no filtering. And so this will give me the total counts. It's going to be a running sum. And actually, you know, let me get this up. And it's called the um, transformation row count ag. Now what I can do is I can do a new branch. So I can branch off before I aggregate. And now I have a second stream from the exact same source data. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a select on here. The select will allow me to rename this new duplicated stream. So this is duplicating the stream. I'm going to give it a name of um, original data. I'm not going to change anything. This All the select is doing is essentially aliasing the stream. And add a row count on here. So we'll do the aggregate here, and we'll call this row count ridge. No group by because we want to count all the rows, and we'll call the um, the grouping. I'm sorry, we'll call the aggregate as uh, row counts a ridge, and then again we do our counts aggregation. Count one for every row. So that's it. So what we're going to see now is we will. Um, just go right to the data preview in debug here from the top. So this is the aggregate count. This should give us the complete count of all the rows that are distinct. So we're taking out the duplicated rows in this case. So we should get a number that's less than the total. And then we'll compare that against the bottom row, which is all the original data. So 9125 is that total. And on the bottom, we see the total as... 9128. So there you go. That is how you do distinct rows in Azure Data Factory Mapping Dataflow.